Hello friends, myself Ananda and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to explore how to deploy an application with Maven dependency on MuleSoft Cloud Hub 2.0 uh, shared space. So there is a reason why I create this video because we will explore that how the deployment workflow is different between Cloud Hub 1.0 and Cloud Hub 2.0. And uh, there is a chance that you can get an asset is invalid error if you do not maintain your dependency version in a specific way. So let's get into the details. So this is my uh, runtime manager and my uh, this is my trial version AnyPoint uh, platform. And in the this runtime manager, we are going to first deploy an application. Before I deploy the application, let me show you the application. It's a very simple application, Hello World application. So only thing what we ha I have done is that uh, I have added one dependency. Uh, basically, I have one uh, uh, DWL library uh, uh, published on my exchange. And I am going, I mean, I have added that uh, asset or that library as a dependency. So quickly, let me show you that library also. Uh, so if I go to exchange, let me go to exchange, yeah. So, so this is the library I have uh, published already. So how I have published this DWN library, I have already shared one video on that. And I will provide that link in the description box for your reference. So let's do the deployment now. If I go to runtime manager and just oh, yeah. So now I am going to deploy application. Let me name it as Hello World. And I'm going to first I'm first I'm trying to deploy it on cloud of 2.0. Let me take this runtime as 4.3.0. And let me choose the file. I'll upload it. This is the jar file. Let me open it and try to deploy. So let's see what happened. So it will give me an error. Yeah, so this is the error. It is saying the asset is invalid. Now let me try the same deployment on cloud of 1.0. So let me say hello. Uh, let my I'm putting my name because it needs to be unique in cloud of 1.0 and I am uh, selecting cloud up and I am selecting 4.3.0 and now I will choose the file I will upload the file from the same location I will open it and I will deploy that So see, now it start deploying. So I'm pausing the video. Once the deployment done, we will proceed with further details. Hello friends, so welcome back. My application got deployed now. And let me open that application. And let me go and test whether it is working or not. Just leaving the endpoint. Hit it. Okay, so now I am getting the expected output so that means my deployment is failing on cloud hub 2.0 but the same application is perfectly getting deployed on cloud hub 1.0 without any issue so what is the difference why it is happening so the reason is that when we deploy our application jar or application archive on cloud hub 1.0 it's directly get deployed onto the control plane but when we are going to deploy it on Cloud Hub 2.0, the, the application archive is first going to publish as a exchange asset. And then that asset is getting published as a deployable to uh, uh, private space or uh, shared space. So that's the difference. So Cloud Hub 2.0 is first trying to publish my application as a uh, exchange asset. And while doing so, if you now, if I now go back to my exchange, so while doing so, it's found that my dependency is in 
development version because I have used this snapshot. So snapshot means it's a development version. It's not the stable version. So unless I am using a stable version, it will not allow me to uh, uh, publish my asset on exchange with this, this particular DWL library as the dependency since the dependency version is in development stage. It's not it's yet stable. So to rectify this, what I need to do, I need to change this version. So let me go to my Visual Studio code and uh, what I will do. See, this is the form file of my asset and the detail of, as I mentioned, that I will give the my other video link where I have shown how to publish this DWL uh, function as a library. So for the time being, what I will do, I will remove this snapshot. I will make it 1.0.1. And that will make it this. And, and again, I will going to publish this as, asset as a stable version. So let me deploy it. So to start deploying, let's wait for a few minutes so that it gets deployed on exchange. So basically, I am publishing this library as an asset on exchange. So now my asset got published on exchange. Let's go to exchange. Okay, let's back, go back to the asset list and let me refresh this page once again. Okay, now let me get inside. See, now I have the stable version 1.0.1. .1. So as a next step, what I need to do, I need to go to any point platform. Okay, before, sorry, any point studio. And before I go back to that, let me copy the dependence. So let me take the dependency snippet, let me copy it, and then let me go to any point studio. Uh, this is the form file. I just update it. Okay. So let me format it a bit. So let me format it and now uh, let me save it first, go back, first locally test it that whether everything is getting deployed properly or not. So now it is getting deployed locally. So in this successful, now it is getting deployed. So, yeah, let's see once it's been deployed. Yeah, now it's got deployed. So I believe everything is working on uh, local. So let me export this as a jar. I'm creating it on the same place with the same name. This is done. Now I will go to uh, any point studio. Okay, let me close it and go to runtime manager. So this time again, I will directly start try to deploy on uh, Cloud Hub uh, 2.0. So this one is running on Cloud Hub. Let it be like this and let me deploy the application once again on cloud of 2.2. This time I have updated the version of my uh, Maven dependency. So I am naming it as hello world ch.0. So 2.0 will not take. Okay. Then I will choose the file. Okay, I'm taking this. Okay, I am making the runtime as probe.3. Rest of the things I'm taking as it is. Let us deploy the application. Let's see how it works now. So it's still 
uh, yeah now it successfully start deploying that means that issue has gone because i am trying to deploy my application with a stable version dependency because my dwl library has a stable version now so now cloud up 2.0 is allowing me to deploy this application so i think those who have worked on runtime fabric they already know this uh, but in cloud up 2.0 this is something different because we are usually we don't get this type of error when deploying to cloud hub so might be we need to take this as a i mean when we create code review checklist or maybe to maintain as a standard this is something we need to add into our checklist when we are trying to deploy on cloud up 2.0 so i'm just pausing this video till it's get deployed then we'll quickly test the application and then we'll close this video so my application is now uh, deployed on cloud up 2.0 if you can see see you, you can see this target type is cloud up 2.0 let's open this application let's go, go to ingress tab let me click this let me put the endpoint So now I am getting the uh, intended uh, response. So this is the response I am expect expecting. So that means, I mean, I believe I am able to clear that how to deploy, I mean, what we need to uh, consider when we are going to add a dependency on Cloud Hub 2.0 application or means the application which you are trying to deploy on Cloud Hub 2.0. Hope you enjoy this video. If you like this video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Please subscribe to my channel and your encouragement always motivate me to come up with other videos. We will come back soon. Till then, thank you.